There we go. White base coat. I don't want to put on too much at this point. You can get end up with a lot of paint on here. That's just basically to get it to stick. Laguna Blue. Lateral line, basically just the whole body, Laguna Blue. No need to hit that. I'm going to go gray over the top. Rinse that out. I'm going to turn this camera down a little bit. You can see better down there. There we go. Just clean the tip out. Wipe it. Gray back. Heat set. Now we're going to wrap this with the scale mesh, which is just insect screen. And here we go, we're making lures. These are just alligator clips. I got these on Amazon. I think you get 25 of them for a few bucks. This is what's kind of difficult up here. The insect screen. You can scratch your paint here with these alligator clips. So you kind of have to be careful. Put these things on there. There. Good and tight. Clean the brush. This is just the way I do it. I know some people just put the next color in, but I don't. Okay, pearl white. You have to get the water, your airbrush cleaner. Make sure that's out of there or you're gonna end up with a big wet splatter on there. I'm gonna try not to go too heavy. It's really hard to tell how much you got on there you've got that scale mesh on there. Nice thing about this fiberglass insect mesh, insect screen, is it doesn't melt like some of the things like you get on the garlic wrapper. You get the heat on there and it just lets go or shrinks and gets weird. So this stuff is a lot sturdier for that. 
Okay, transparent black. Transparent black. Just hit the top a little bit on that mesh. Ever just a faint. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go over the whole back with black anyway. See how we did. See, I scratched it. That's okay. Scratched it there. Scratched it a little bit here and there. Okay, we still have black in here. Let's get these eyes. Let's take a Q-tip. Let's get this fuzz kind of compacted here. paint. There, that's kind of cool. Yeah, make this one bigger. They have to match, right? There we go. Then we're going to take, we've got to clean up that belly where we scratched it. Now a good thing to do if you're not in a hurry, I'm trying to make a short video is before you put that, before you put the, the mesh on to make your scales, and I probably should have done this to show you, but you take, do a clear coat. Just do a clear coat and heat set it and it'll protect that paint. This is harder than that paint. This is just acrylic. And it'll protect that paint and keep it from getting scratched like that. So for now, what I'm gonna have to do is go back in with a little white. I'm gonna have to hit that belly again just to hide those scratches. But I guess it's good to show how to, f I'm gonna learn how to fix something too, right? Clean up.
white and black are the hardest to clean up because I think they have the most pigment in it because they're at the most extremes. We want to highlight that. So here's some wicked orange. Got to do it. Got to do something exciting on this thing. A stick. I want it to be super solid under here and then kind of fade up the sides a little bit. So I'm going to get onto the, the gills. How's that? A little more here. Put all that paint on there. Nice thing about having an exposed needle is you can just wipe that off. There we go. find some eyes. I saw some eyes laying around. Uh. These are cool. Are those too big? Let's find out. Okay, we got eyes. Let's just shoot a clear coat on there. A little orange in there still. Let's just see how it looks with some shine on it. Go fishing! <laughs> 